Purim is almost upon us. This Shabbos, we read Parsha Zachor. Next week, we have Tanis Esther, Purim, Shushan Purim. The happiest time of the year, the happiest time on our calendar. And there are lessons to be derived from the Megillah that we focus on on Purim, from the story of Mordechai and Esther. And the greatest lesson, I think the overarching lesson of the Megillah is to be able to see Hashem's presence in this world without seeing Hashem's name. Hashem's name does not appear in the Megillah at all. And nevertheless, Hashem's presence was influencing everything that took place. Really a metaphor for our lives that even though we don't know why certain things happen, but Hashem has His plan for each of us individually. And the first, one of the first lessons from the Megillah that I find to be so powerful as brought down in the Medrash, something very fascinating because many times we ask ourselves the question when reading the Megillah story, why didn't Mordechai simply bow down to Haman? If he bowed down to him, none of this would have happened in the first place. Mordechai must have had his reasoning. So the Medrash explains to us that Haman actually had a complaint against Mordechai. It wasn't that he simply didn't bow down to him. The Medrash says that Haman said to Mordechai, I don't understand. Your ancestor Yaakov bowed down to my ancestor Esav. Why won't you bow down to me? It doesn't make any sense. And so Mordechai, the Pesach tells us, to Mordechai, lo yichrav, lo Mordechai said, no, I refuse. I will not bow down to you. And the Medrash explains why this is so. Because Mordechai is called an Ish Yemini. Ish Yemini means that he hailed, he came from the tribe of Binyamin. And at the time that Yaakov bowed down to Esav, Binyamin was not yet born. And so Mordechai says, I wasn't there, my tribe wasn't there, my great-great-grandfather was not there when Yaakov bowed down to Esav. Therefore, all I know, Haman, is that I do not bow down to you. And I think there is a powerful lesson here for us to apply to our lives, asking ourselves the question, what is the boundary in our lives in the year 2023 with a society that has gone to far, far places. Where do we in our lives say, I will not bow down. I have my boundary. I have my limit. I won't go there because it's something which is counter to my beliefs and my values. And a Jew has to ask themselves that question. Some of us have to ask ourselves that question every single day. And some of us only have to ask ourselves that question a couple of times in our lives. But that lesson we are learned from Mordechai HaTzadik that all because everyone else in society pushed themselves to bow down to Haman because they were scared, Mordechai decided to step up and Mordechai said, no, 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 this is not my value. I don't bow down to anyone but HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We should be Zoche to focus during our time of Simcha of the incredible lesson taught to us by Mordechai and how we apply it to our lives in creating the boundary for our values where we feel is comfortable and in keeping with our belief system, our faith in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and our observance of his mitzvot. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.